Hello. Hello. Facebook friends. Dr. Sona here. I'm live. It's 8 p.m. And it's my video number 18 today. COVID lesson video number 18. And today I'm going to talk to you on something very, very important. Um, I, have, I have seen a lot of people sharing their story with me of what they have gone through during COVID times. So today I want to talk to you about the compulsive shopping which we are, most of us do. And the, the, the idea of, of buying things and hoarding things and what COVID-19 has come and taught us uh, during these times, how we should, you know, say no to compulsive shopping and to hoarding. Before I start that, friends, let me introduce myself. It's just two minutes past eight and I'm I'm a neuropsychologist. I'm based in Dehradun. I'm also the I'm professor uh, and the of chemistry uh, in Doon Medical College. And before that, I was in LLRM Medical College, Merit as the HOD there of biochemistry. But now I'm totally into neuropsychology, and uh, I'm a doctor by profession, and I'm a neuropsychologist by profession and passion so uh, I love meeting people I love talking to people I love listening to people and I am into a lot of things that people are having so I'm a lot into uh, they share their stories with me and I do a lot of counseling and psychotherapy I'm the founder of Pari Foundation it's awareness um, also CBSE counselor and I counsel the students during exam stress I have uh, as I always tell you I run a lot of uh, I'm into a lot of social work and I run a lot of helplines I'm into COVID helplines with the government where I'm into uh, counseling these quarantine uh, and I'm also there with the crisis helpline which is suicide prevention and I deal with a lot of cases of children who are depressed, anxious or who are suicidal. I'm also with a lot of uh, uh, my Pari Foundation helpline, 24-7 helpline. It's into stress, anxiety, depression, causes leading that into that, behavioral problems, marital dispute, disputes you know, um, educational problems, child abuse, so many things. So I am into all of that. And uh, psychology is a huge, develops the whole of our life. And uh, many things which we are not able to deal with in our life leads us into stress. And so my NGO works on stress prevention and saying no to drug abuse because it's one of the causes which leads us to drug abuse. So friends, having said that, it's COVID times. And COVID lessons, I've started this. COVID lessons deals with the psychological aspect of what COVID has been teaching us. And COVID is a big bad, it's, a, it's not a big, it's a virus which is there, which has, which has caused an upheaval all around the world. It's a pandemic which is spread all around the world. And uh, it's, the, it's preventable. And quarantine is uh, about all about the masks you're wearing to prevent your inhalation and your gloves and your sanitizing your hands and cuffing into your uh, social distance so that we stay away from uh, infection and contaminated fomites. Lockdown period is there and it's gradually being released and we are going to go into the normal state of with gradual release in lock time, uh, lockdown time but we have to keep in mind that the COVID new uh, virus is there in the environment. So all the precautions we have been taking uh, should stay with us. And uh, uh, let me say hello to my followers on uh, Instagram. And hello friends. So what I want to tell you is that today I have not been able to post uh, uh, what I was planning to take up. It was all of a sudden the, that I just took up uh, hoarding and compulsive shopping so uh, covid lessons uh, 
what happens is that all our life, uh, as I said, there was a mad rush. We were running up and uh, things which we liked, cars, clothes, for our homes, uh, decoration stuff, curtains, bed sheets, toys for your children, books, whatever, you name it and we just went and bought it if we could afford it. And we thought we were very happy when we were buying things. Yes, yes. Differentiate between, we have to learn to differentiate between what is our desire and what is our necessity. So you desire something, you may not need it. Things come first. We have to buy things which uh, will help us survive in this world. Uh, but our desires are something which we want which which we which we may not be needing so this is something we have to teach to our children right from the beginning to differentiate between your desires and your and your needs right so um, yes so having said that i just want to tell you friends that um, i just let me just let me plug on my my mobile uh, That's going to be more audible now. What I had been seeing uh, since so many years uh, pre-COVID, that people uh, just loved shopping, and they said that they love to shop or they love to because that is a de-stressor for them. So shopping, and some of them were compulsive shoppers. They said that even if we don't need it, we just had to go and buy things. So a compulsive obsession it comes to you. And you, you have to do it, otherwise it leads you to stress. So that's something bad. So now when people are there in their homes in this lockdown period, and you never know for, and they say period, and this being more at home and uh, less of, you know, these movies and malls and all roaming around and going out for, you know, uh, catching a plane and going out to for your vacations, all that is going to be it's going to be a new way of life now. So uh, today, when I see uh, people staying at home, I find them that they, they. I find I find it so I find it so amusing to see that most of them are in the same set of uh, since morning to evening. <clears throat> Some of them tell me that we haven't even you know taken a bath. So they are in the same pajamas or they are in their same night suits. Some of them are in the same clothes yesterday and they were wearing it today. <clears throat> they say we don't have to go anywhere so what do we have to do there's a friend who told me that i when i open a cupboard i find that my clothes stare at me and they laugh at me and my saris and my at me and they say okay uh, and then they laugh at me sarcastically another friend told me oh my god when i see those 300 pairs of sandals which i had there is a film star there's a there was who's a who's no more now. She had I don't know how many thousands of south, and uh, celebrities. You know they tell you so. Look at our shoe. They take you sometimes through their uh, homes and they show you their hordes of shoes and uh, sandals. Do you need them? Things which you don't need, pairs of shoes and sandals. Do you know uh, thousands and thousands of saris, umpteen suits salwar suits or dresses or western dresses all hoarded up there in your cupboards so today covid lesson number 18 is what has you has uh, your there there may be times in your life when so many you realize that so many things are not actually needed and you find that it's a clutter in your house a friend of mine rang me up the other day and they said that I'm, I'm feeling so these I'm feeling so stressed so what should I do to de-stress I said de-stress yourself go out for a walk talk to your friends uh, see a movie read a book do some exercise uh, do some me time she said no I'm going to declutter my room I said oh that's very good too so she, she said, all those hundreds and pairs of uh, saris that I have and all those thousand hundred of pairs of sandals which I have which I, I know are so useless. I don't need so many pairs. Uh, I'm going to take
take them out and just distribute them to the needy people today when i when you see uh, on your tv screens or on your newspapers you see the poverty around you you see people walking hungry thirsty and you're there locked down in your room and you're seeing all that and you're made to see all that it does give a tinge in your heart and you realize that look so much of holding i've done so much of things have just gone and stocked up in my cupboards and in my as and in my uh, rooms do i need it will i need it do i need so many clothes do i need so many shoes do i need so many things to eat so stop hoarding you never know uh life is you never know when the time to go comes but to be happy while living it so needs and desires your necessities your needs and your desires so have have enough for your needs say for a rainy day endless uh you buy one thing it gives you a pleasure for a minute uh and but then the next minute that pleasure becomes stale and you want another thing right isn't that life so happiness is not in buying that thing it gives you an excitement for that minute for that moment for that time oh i bought this and when you wear it you like people to admire you and the moment they don't admire you you get depressed again so that thing buying that thing or that thing is not giving you the happiness as i told in you told you in one of my previous videos happiness is your inborn it's your inborn quality so uh, happiness is there in you <laughs> it's just that you didn't know you were looking at it at the wrong place you were looking at it in the materialistic things in the world it's your satisfaction for your needs but differentiate it from your desires and stop going into compulsive shoppings and hoarding things this is what covid lessons has taught us today you never know how long uh, we'll be in the lockdown how long uh, whether we'll find time to wear all that we have hoarded up and bought and kept and and the generation next doesn't want it because when their time comes up times will have changed and let me tell you from my experience even your maids don't want leftovers the uh, if there is a festival in the house every maid or every a left or a worn thing is given to them they take it they take it but they don't relish it so of course uh, what i mean to say is that if you want to distribute your hoarded stuff now do it give it to needy people but stop hoarding in and stop things and things and things and just cluttering up your house because cluttering up your cupboards and your house clutters your mind and that is a big cause of stress so be stress free less less of things less even if you wear one pair of shoe every day it will be seven pairs of shoes more than sufficient whom do you want to show your shoes to and who's keeping a record of what you're wearing maybe film stars and celebrities have to do do it because that is their profession and the media makes shows that they have worn the same thing again and puts them into a bad light but then they i feel they to don't it's given to them by by the fashion designers and all who want their things to be sold so what i say is that buy things for your needs keep everything for yourself for your children as much as needed books are very good and books are your best friend so buy good books. treasure there are certain things that which in which hoarding is good so books are a lifetime treasure even your children will relish them later on but wasting money on clothes on artificial things on thousands of lipsticks or you know the same shades in different uh, 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 company names and all you know and uh, she she just loved them but and she's no more now so it's have gone so i remember that and that's a less big lesson for me so buy things for your need and uh, if you have money because giving is good karma giving is sharing and as far as possible what i feel is give new things 
to people they they like it better hoarding and compulsive shopping are psychological problem person does it there is something there is there is a element of low self esteem in somebody who loves to hoard and shopping is an addiction compulsion is an addiction you can't resist it so and addictions are all bad so stop it and it's very easy the mo- you just have right so that was uh, the covid lesson which uh, i have learned in these stressful times that as much as needed and uh, as much as my needs are there and desires are endless and i'm going to talk to myself about and stay and keep them within my needs right friends so this was something other than this uh, today is my eight, uh, today is my 19th sorry today is my 19th video i have one more video to share with you tomorrow the of covid lessons i'll finish i'll end up and then before i go into another series of uh i'll take something else and i'll share that with you i'm just planning it out now so today i also want to share with you that uh, uh it's also taught us that as i have been saying that sharing and caring together at home so so today if your daughter is there and your son is there and your husband is there and they are all helping you in the kitchen with your work with all your things with their studies and they are all uh, and the work is there and there is no division of labor that the girl must do this and the boy must do this that is a healthy sign so covid lesson has also and caring and equally dividing and looking at each other with equality so there is no work distribution um there is no work distribution in the sense there is no work uh, you know what what work as such you know de- delineated uh, for g- ladies or for men everybody should know everything men should know cooking men should know working men should know driving men should know finance same should with the women they should know cooking but uh, and both of them should be involved in parenting but having said that ladies which is that emotional strength which they have as mothers because they have they are so much they they have born their child so that emotional bonding of a mother's love for a child is something which is just there that your priority so if you have procreated your child if you have born your child if your child is born you are the procreator and you are totally responsible for the child's well being so teach caring and teach them that 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 they are equal boys and girls are equal and work is equal and there is no you know separation of work for boys and girls and of course has taught us staying together i i find it so nice to see that the men are helping the women i mean something uh, which was thought man of the house sweeping and dusting or the man of the house washing the utensils it was there in so many houses even in educated people and let me tell you ladies all partly to blame because they were so perfectionists in their work they, they they want in their cleanliness and all they didn't want interference of other people to come so they used to tell their husbands to stay away but today covid lessons everybody is carrying your work in the work won't finish and you'll be so tired so everybody is there helping in the kitchen everybody is there helping in the looking after the house everybody is there helping each other study online studies are there there are there is on, online home work from home for the parents and there's online studies so sharing and caring of your laptops of your mobiles of your time so that that work is there all this has come to us through covid is a blessing in disguise it's a wicked virus it's a fatal virus we don't like it and i hope it goes soon but it has taught us lessons it has taught us lessons and it won't go soon because it is there in the air and we have to live with it but the lessons it has taught us are good so today 
my last second last video tomorrow will be my last video on the series of covid lessons and they are all on my archives on my youtube channel sona kaushal gupta i'll put the link there so you can go the, uh, go back there and see it and please share it and subscribe to my channel and i'll come up with more series so friends no compulsive shopping between your needs and your desires keep in mind don't don't suffocate yourself by not fulfilling your needs and give yourself that occasional treat so with your children teach it to your children also but don't go for hoarding and for compulsive shopping just for just to release yourself of stress that you have seen it it's of no use clothes are just dead things lying in your cupboards it is it is your life which is so precious it is your happiness which is so precious it is the time you are spending the quality time you are spending with your children and with your spouse and your family and your relationships which are so precious give those importance give importance to your karma if is uncertain how long you live you never know but how happily you live is in your hand and and spirituality comes with psychology and karma is in your karma is in your hands so let's focus on that move on happily in life and uh, share care love give as much as we can give whatever is unnecessary not needed and give a lot of love and give give have a good communication this is something which is so the thing which covid has taught communicate properly if you yell at your child when you are at home all staying together in this lockdown he is going to yell back if you are irritated the child is going to be irritated so you get what you give the formula is so simple and this is what covid lessons has taught us that you get what you give so give love give a good communication give a nice way of talking and you know uh, self esteem and uh, don't differentiate between your children give them uh, equal love give them equal opportunities and teach everything to everyone everybody needs to know everything to exist in this world so i'll sign off uh, hello yogeshi hello neeraj ji uh, welcome and uh, neeraj ji said it's a pleasure listening to you uh, they are so nice and so corona <laughs> corona uh, covid lesson 19 today i'll end up no hoarding no compulsive shopping that's an addiction sharing caring loving and gender equality at home it's it's let it remain as such we'll meet again tomorrow 8 pm with another very important and a very uh, informative uh, topic so good night for now please share the video can also subscribe to youtube channel good night